WFRB TV Local 5. This is High School Sports Extra, sponsored by Nicolay National Bank, with your host, Brian Roday. Hello, everyone, and welcome into High School Sports Extra, presented by Nicolay National Bank. Tonight, we'll announce our team of the week, unveil the Local 5 top five plays, feature an exceptional student athlete, plus the prep spotlight shines on the Bay Conference as Seymour Boys basketball coach John Murphy joins me in studio. But we kick things off with our game of the week from the Northeastern Conference Thursday. It was a battle of the top two teams in the NEC as Luxembourg Casco went on the road looking to hand fifth ranked Freedom its first conference loss. Early on, check out the sweet no look dish from Gabby Johnson down low to Taylor Hazy. Irish up by two. Then after that corner three rims out, Hazy comes up with the offensive rebound and the putback Freedom with a four point edge. But here come the Spartans. Green Bay Phoenix commit Cassie Schiltz gets the block and then starts the fast break, pulls up and hits the off balance shot after the defender got a piece of the ball. Then it's fellow senior Jenna Jorgensen showing off her skills, slicing through the defenders in the lane for the tough two. LC led 18-14, and they did not let up from there. Jordan Bakoritz fakes the shot, drives baseline, and finishes through contact. Spartans by nine. And the visitors were making all the hustle plays late in the half. That three is no good. The first putback doesn't go. Neither does the second, but Schiltz finally converts off the glass and in. And how about this sequence just before the break. Hazy with the steal, but she throws it away. It ends up with Schiltz, who gets the hoop and the harm. Lux Casco in control, leading 34 19 at halftime. To the second now, Irish going back to what was working early on. Hazy in the paint, beating the double team for two. But the Spartans continue to scratch and claw after every 50 50 ball. Bakoritz rips it away, gets it to Jorgensen, who finds Schiltz inside for the bucket. 40 23 Luxembourg Casco. Freedom needed a spark, and they get it from Division I recruit Callie Genki. The sophomore spots up from the corner and splashes home the three, and she wasn't done. Next time down, working around a screen and tickling the twine once again from behind the three-point line. And you got to keep feeding the hot hand, right? Genki from the other side this time, and the same result. She finished with a team-high 15. Irish cut the deficit to seven points, and the Freedom faithful were feeling a comeback. But Schiltz and the Spartans always seem to have the answer. The future Phoenix knocks down the three from the top of the key to take the momentum back and make it 47-38. Schiltz had a game-high 22. Jorgensen added 13 of her own. And Luxembourg Casco snaps Freedom's 14-game winning streak. They pull into a tie for first in the NEC with a 56-43 victory. Well, it feels great to pull up this one on their court. It was, it was a team effort all around. Our defense really stepped up. Jordan stepped up on Cal, and I just think it was a great win, and it'll keep moving us forward. And we still have a lot of tough games coming up. We got Wrightstown next week, so this one definitely feels great. It will for a while, and we just got to keep keep pushing, getting better. It feels amazing. I am so excited. The team, it was a team effort, and we were all pumped. It was like almost winning state for us, kind of. This was our conference, and this is what we wanted. All right, when we come back on High School Sports Extra, Seymour head coach John Murphy joins me to talk about his first place Thunder Boys basketball team. But first, this week's exceptional student athlete broke a major record in the Green Bay area earlier this week. Eric Boynton has his story next.